going. Uh, <laughs> we're going to do a external alternator kit. Uh, I think it's alternatorman.com or alternatorparts.com does it. It's like 100 bucks. I got the adjusted thin one. Comes with a little bypass and all that. And after 30 minutes of looking through it, I think I finally understand it. So the first thing we're going to do is take our sure. air filter out of the way. This is for a third gen Dodge. Um, the one that goes to the CPU. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the plug out of the side of the alternator here. This is an 05 and down. And we're going to cut this off right here. And set that plug to the side. Well, actually, we're going to keep the plug for now. Now, this plug is going to wire straight into the um, kit. Adjustment's way off on this. So, then we're going to grab our, our loom. Now, he's got a couple of red wires. Ignore this one for now. We need this one right here. They're connected together. He has butt connectors, but they're like the crimpy kind that don't... I don't like them. I don't like that style. The crimpies. So, grab these crimpies. And I want to go ahead and um, do a solid mount instead of a, uh, an unplugging mount. Actually, we'll go ahead and do a plug mount if I've got them. Because it'll help the two different sizes link together better. But, um, he said it doesn't matter what side we put these on. So, we're going to hope he wasn't lying. So, we're going to do male on this side. Two males. Grab our crimpers. Heat these up. The heat gun works better, but I didn't feel like grabbing the stuff, so don't burn them. Just kind of wiggle around. Look that cool. We're gonna grab two females of the bigger gauge. We're going to hope we have two females at the very gauge. There we go. I don't know what kind of wire he's using, but it's, it's rough cut. It's real thick, real thick insulation. Real thin wire, real thin insulation. So, we need a little more. Crap here. So follow along video. Okay. Get that heated. Like I said, he said it doesn't matter which side you put. That's hot. So we're gonna let that sit for a minute. Right. Let's 
the next thing we got to do is those wires we just cut have to connect to this. And I'm not sure what he was planning to use. I think he was planning to use these for that job. He got self tapers and all that. So, more like zip ties for now. Seems like a pretty complete kit. So, I'm guessing he has these to go on here. that and we're not going to do this part on video but these will go between these two wires so we'll have to peel this back and go between there and i'll probably mount that like right here i'll figure that out after this is over so that was cooled down ever so slightly i mean slightly it's still hot i'm gonna plug this in plug this back into the regulator And then this will plug into here for now. Now, this is an adjustable regulator. And because it's an adjustable regulator, you need a good universal ground. So, let me pull this bad boy out right here. Okay, I see him. Yeah, he's pretty complete. Just, I mean, it's a, you're paying extra money for him to assemble all this together. Because these are all off-the-shelf parts. But I didn't want to go chase parts and worry about doing this wrong because the computers are very expensive on these dodges, as y'all know. So we're going to use these bigger ones right here. I've got the size of these, but once again, I'm going to use my shrinkable ones. So if that is an upgrade he should definitely do if he ever sees this video. Upgrade yours to these heat shrink ones, they hold up better. Um, I mean, I'm sure he probably hasn't ever had any complaints, but as a Jeep guy, I know it's a Dodge, but as a Jeep guy, you want things that like don't pull out easy. I guess they look better when they're done. Mine look greasy. These bad boys up a little bit more. Right. Now one of these sides needs to go to your alternator ground. You can either do it way down here by the alternator stud, or you can do it up here, or you can go over here on the firewall. As long as it's connected to that's the hot wire. This wire right here. This grounding stud for the alter, dry, alternator right here. So, ground this side to this, ground this side to this, and the purpose of that is so when you're adjusting it back here, you have a good ground at all times. Now, last but not least, I'll get a picture or video of this later when it's done. This last red wire needs to go to an ignition on power source. I'm going to tie mine to my fuel shutoff. Um, this is a third gen Dodge, but I've got a second gen motor, so my wiring is going to be different. But you're going to have to drag a wire probably from somewhere over in that area from your fuse box over to here. Probably just follow the alternator routing and tie that in. This cannot be on at all times. You put it on a toggle switch if you wanted to. But it's best just to do it on a key so you don't ever forget. But besides that, um, and then where I'm going to mount it on the firewall, I'm probably going to mount it on the battery box. We'll see from there. But that is the gist of it.